This is part 36 of Angular 6 tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss lazy loading Angular modules. At the moment, the sample application that we've been working with has got two modules, our root application module, app module, and our feature module, employee module. As you add more features to your application, you'll have more feature modules like reports module, admin module, etc. As you add more feature modules, the overall application size will continue to grow. At some point, you will reach that tipping point where the application takes a very long time to load. Unless you are using lazy loading, all the modules are eagerly loaded. This means all the modules in your Angular application and their associated components, directives, pipes and services must be downloaded from the server when the user first visits the application. So, depending on the number of modules in your application and the internet speed, this could take a significant amount of time and may very badly affect the end user experience. To address this problem, we use asynchronous routing, which loads feature modules like our employee module lazily on demand. This can significantly reduce the initial load time of your application. At the moment, both the modules in our Angular application that is the root application module, app module and our feature module, employee module are eagerly loaded at the application load time. Now what we want to do is lazy load this employee module on demand. To lazy load an Angular module, our application must meet two requirements. Here's the first requirement. All the routes in the Angular module that we want to lazy load should have the same route prefix. We addressed this requirement in our previous video. Now the module that we want to lazy load is this employee module. All the routes of this employee module are present in this employee routing module. Notice all these three routes have the same route prefix employees. Here is our second requirement. The module that we want to lazy load should not be referenced in any other module. If it is referenced, then the module is eagerly loaded instead of lazy loading it. So if we take a look at our root application module, app module, notice our employee module that we want to lazy load is already referenced in this root module app module. So this employee feature module is eagerly loaded. Let's actually prove this. At the moment, we are on the application home route the browser developer tools are open. Let's click on the network tab and let's clear this traffic that we already have and reload the web page. Notice on the browser status bar when we issued our first request there is 4.3 MB of data downloaded from the server and there are 11 requests in total. Let's take a screenshot of this so we can compare it later. Now let's clear everything that we have under the network tab and navigate to the employees route. Keep in mind this employees route is present in our feature module, employee module that we want to lazy load. At the moment the only request that is made to the server is this XML HTTP request to retrieve the list of these three employees. Notice we have not downloaded the employee module because the employee module and all its associated components, directives, pipes and services are downloaded when we first visited the home route. So at the moment our employee module is eagerly loaded. It's not loaded on demand when we first visit a route in our feature module, employee module. Now let's take a screenshot of this as well so we can compare it later when we lazy load our employee module. Now to be able to lazy load the employee module, our application should meet this second requirement that is the module that we want to lazy load should not be referenced in any other module. At the moment our employee module is still referenced in our root application module, app module. So let's remove this reference and this reference within the app module. Now let's quickly verify if we have any other references to the employee module and the easiest way to do that is to go to the employee module file, right click on the class and then select this option, find all references. Notice we don't have 
any other reference. So we are good. At this point, let's save all our changes and take a quick look at the browser. Notice now our home route works, but when we navigate to any of the employee feature module routes, we see the page not found component displayed. That's because our application at the moment doesn't know anything about our employee feature module and its associated routes. To lazy load our employee feature module, we use load children property. So we include a new route in our application routing module, app routing module, and notice we have set path of this new route to employees. And if you remember, this employees is the route prefix that we have for all of our employee feature module routes. And our employee feature module routes are present in employee routing module. Notice all these three routes have that same prefix employees. So in this new route that lazy loads our employee module, we set the path to that common route prefix employees. And the value for load children property is a string. And this string contains two paths. The first part here is the path to the file that contains our employee module. And remember, our employee module file is present in the employee folder. And the name of the file is employee.module.ts. In the file name, we do not include the file extension. And then we have the hash symbol and then the name of our feature module class. Our feature module class name that we want to lazy load is employee module. So let's include this new route in the app routing module. So within our app routing module that contains our application level routes, let's include our new route that lazy loads our employee feature module. Now one important point to keep in mind is this new route should be before this wildcard route. Otherwise, we'll never be able to get to the routes in our employee feature module because this wildcard route matches all those routes and we always see this page not found component template displayed. So let's move this new route to be before the wildcard route. Notice now our home route works but when I navigate to slash employees, I do not see anything. When we go to slash employees slash create, we see the page not found component template displayed. And when I try to edit an existing employee, we again see the page not found component template displayed. Let's understand why our employee feature routes are not working. Notice in the app routing module, the path to our employee module is employees. And even in our employee routing module, the parent path for all these routes is employees. So to be able to get to this list employees component, for example, we should have employees twice in the URL. But at the moment, we only have it once. So if we want to see the list of all employees, we should have employees slash employees in the URL. There we go. Now we see the list of employees, but that's not what we want. The route path employees should be there in the URL only once. To achieve this, all we have to do is in our employee routing module, remove this parent path employees. Notice now our home route works, our employees route works, edit route, works and create route also works. Now let's prove our employee module is being lazy loaded. Let's go to the home route, clear everything that we have under the network tab and then reload the web page. Notice now the data that we downloaded from the server is only 4 MB and the load time is 2.85 seconds. Now when we compare this with the screenshot that we have taken when we were eager loading employee module, we have downloaded 4.3 MB of data from the server and the load time is 3.33 seconds. Now let's clear everything that we have under the network tab and navigate to the employees route. Notice now, in addition to this XML HTTP request, which retrieves these three employees from the server, we also have our employee module downloaded 
on demand. If we compare this with the screenshot that we have taken, notice when we were not lazy loading our employee module, we only had one request and 785 bytes of data transferred. Whereas now, because we also have to load the employee module, we have two requests and 269 kilobytes of data transferred. So the important point to keep in mind is our employee module is no longer downloaded when our application first starts. It is lazy loaded only on demand whenever we first visit any of these three routes in our employee module. That's it in this video. Thank you for watching and have a great day.